Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Nowadays it's really easy to perform cheats or hacks in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Just download OpenRST2 and you are presented with a myriad of easy options to use. You can build trees inside toilets, make everyone deadly sick, launch a coaster at 900 km per hour and so on. This wasn't always so easy, but it was already possible to hack your game over 20 years ago in the year 2000, just a year after Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 had come out. In this video I'm going over 4 old hacked save files to show what was possible back in the day. If you want to download these for yourself, there's a link to a website where you can get them in the description. These are Rollercoaster Tycoon 1's SV4 save files, but luckily OpenRST2 can read and open those without any issues. The first old save file is called SST0.SV4 and it was exported on January 27th 2000, more than 23 years ago. It looks fairly normal except for this pyramid where the top is levitating above some path and the rest of the pyramid. Oh and it also has a coaster going through it. These are actually two different pyramid scenery items, one with the middle removed and one placed a bit higher with only the middle remaining. There are a few other tricks in this save file as well. Here the path is going through the water and the swinging suspended coaster does the same. Lastly there are these houses. They normally aren't available in this scenario so they were manually added in. You can also see the guests walking through the fences that were placed directly on the path. The next save file, Area 51A, is from April 30th and has a lot more exciting hacks, which are very similar to what people often do with OpenRCT2 these days. Near the entrance there is this launched monorail, showcasing both the ability to use illegal operating modes and to launch at ludicrous speeds. Next to it is a launched corkscrew coaster with two very tall nauseating helix towers. Actually this park is mostly just rides that are launched ridiculously fast, such as this laydown coaster. There are some other neat things though, like this vertical drop coaster going underground in a way that isn't possible, so no tunnel graphic shows up. It also has this steeple chase that uses a slightly different vehicle than usual. This shows that these fun things that we do, like putting swan boats on a giga coaster or something like that, have existed for as long as the franchise has existed. A slightly less obvious cheat is the canoes going through underground tunnels, which is impossible as you cannot have water underground. Lastly, I wanted to showcase this corkscrew coaster. Apart from the launch speed, it isn't hacked, but it does look super cool. The third save file only contains one hack, but it is the most beautiful one out of these four in my opinion. This is a long flume with two stations for quicker loading and unloading of the boats. This was done by building two separate log flumes half a unit apart in height. In OpenRCT2 this looks wrong, but in Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 both log flumes would be rendered at the same height, making it work flawlessly. Unfortunately when you open the save file in OpenRCT2 it doesn't quite work as all the logs go to the orange station. I tried to open it in RCT1 but you need a Drexler patch to open hacked save files and unfortunately I could not get that to work. The last save file is called anotherhack.sv4 and it's from June 17th 2000. This one has a few interesting hacks that we haven't seen yet. Right next to the entrance there is a 3D cinema that is built into the ground and on the other side of the park there is a pirate ship in water. There are also these three tower rides underground. You may think that that's not a big deal as you can easily do that in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, but remember that holding shift to raise or lower items wasn't a thing yet in RCT1. Therefore you cannot build a flat ride or a tower ride underground. This means that the launch freefall in Thunderstorm Park can never be rebuilt if you delete it. Another hack also has these four freefalls going through the Colosseum. There is nothing wrong with what we see above ground here, but if you look underground the platforms are overlapping. 
Lastly, there is this mini golf with a whole lot of different scenery items built in impossible locations. The ones like this tree on the track are obvious, but there are also a few illegal floating scenery items. Easy to do in RCT2, but impossible in RCT1. There are more similar hacks in each of the four save files that I didn't show here, so I encourage you to download them and look through them yourself. I find it really interesting that people started hacking Roller Coaster Tycoon almost immediately after it came out. Even back in 2000 there were already forums for discussing how to do all this. I definitely wasn't active on them as I was only 3 years old at the time, but I am very thankful for the pioneers who laid the brickwork for a strong community 23 years ago. I hope you found this look into some very old hacks in Rollercoaster Tycoon interesting and if you know more cool things like this let me know in the comments. Before I go I also want you to know that I do live streams on Twitch every Wednesday and Sunday at 8pm CET where I play Rollercoaster Tycoon 2 and also other games, link in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.